What is happening guys? So the other day I made a video on how I got from zero to 10,000 subscribers in under 60 days. And this was mainly by using keyword research and the tool that I would use was vidIQ. So in that video, I briefly mentioned why vidIQ is the best keyword research tool to use. And in the comments, somebody asked if I could do a vidIQ versus TubeBuddy video. So that is what I'm doing right here. Now just to note, if you were interested in getting vidIQ, there'll be a link down in the description below and that will take you to the best possible price that they have on. Now, both vidIQ and TubeBuddy do have a lot of useful features when it comes to things like analyzing your channel, analyzing your audience, and analyzing the channels of your competitors. But the main thing that you're going to want to use these tools for is their keyword research abilities. And this relies heavily on the quality of the search data that they're using. So if we come into YouTube and make an example search, you can see that on the right, we have the extension for TubeBuddy. Now this is the free version, so you can see that there's some buttons to up grade to unlock extra features and below this we have the vidIQ extension and for the purpose of this video I'm also using the free version just to make sure that things are done fairly. So 64 out of 100 is the overall score that vidIQ gives this search term but if we look at TubeBuddy for some reason it's completely different and showing a score of 7 out of 100. So because of this we know that one of them is definitely getting it wrong. So if we take a look at some of the other metrics you'll see for example vidIQ shows a fairly high search volume. This makes sense because the search term DJI Mini 2 is actually one of the latest drones from the largest drone company in the world. And if we look at the competition, you'll see that it's showing as medium. And this also makes sense because although it's a super popular item, it's a fairly new product. Therefore, YouTube has not yet been swamped with videos on this topic. And below this, it tells us that the top creator for this keyword is called Dustin Dunhill. So if we take a look up the list of results, we'll see the top one is actually an advert, so we can ignore that. And then below that, we have one, two, and the third result is actually by Dustin Dunhill. So although it's not showing as the very top result, it does show that he is one of the top people that dominate this keyword. Now, if we come up and we use vidIQ's keyword inspector tool, we can actually get some further data on this. Now, this keyword inspector tool is actually the main way which I was able to grow my channel from zero to 10,000 subscribers in just under 60 days. And this is what I go into more detail with in my previous video. I'll stick a link down in the description below so you can check that out. Now, right now I am logged into the free version, so it's very limited as to what you can do, but we can still see the key metric which we're looking for here. And that is the actual amount of times that people are searching for this keyword on YouTube every single month. And the figure it's showing is 1.3 million. And again, that fits in with what you'd expect for this keyword. So everything so far is seeming extremely accurate. But that's hardly surprising because vidIQ are the only company to actually take their data directly from YouTube's API. So let's now take a look at the stats that TubeBuddy give us. Well, for starters, they say the search volume is very low. This already doesn't make sense to me, but when you look at the actual figure they show, it's showing as 150 searches per month across the whole of YouTube, across the whole of the world. This is simply impossible. So already, just based off the back of that, I already know that their data is incorrect. Now, the next figure to look at is the level of competition, and they actually have this as very high. Now, this may seem confusing at first, but the higher the competition of the keyword, the further the slider is to the left. Now, this is a kind of debatable subject because, yes, it is a very popular topic to make videos on, but because the drone itself is very new, you wouldn't usually expect this to be a very high competitional keyword until it's been out for at least about six months to a year when the YouTube community has been flooded with the content. If it's showing is extremely high already, then how is that going to get even higher in a year's time when there's a hundred times more videos using this keyword? So the last stat that we were going to compare was looking at the top performing channel for this keyword. So in this tab here, you get a few more stats. And the first one is actually that ridiculous stat saying that only 150 people are searching for this per month. But at the bottom of this is the stat that we're looking for. And that is telling us that the top channel for this keyword is DJI. Now, this actually worries me because DJI are the people who make this drone. But as far as videos are concerned, they are nowhere to be seen in the top videos for this search term. You can scroll all the way down and you will not see a video by DJI. 
So it seems to me here that maybe their algorithm is kind of guessing who the top creator is and they've simply guessed that it's the company that makes the drone. So to me, this is a bit of a red flag because that statistic there is clearly not being taken from accurate data. So there's a reason why vidIQ has accurate data and TubeBuddy does not. And that is because vidIQ take their data directly from the YouTube API, as I mentioned earlier. But with TubeBuddy, they take their data from Google in general, which is not as up to date. And at the same time, people search for entirely different things across the web than they do on YouTube directly. If you're looking for a tool that works works well with YouTube, you need to use a tool which takes its data directly from YouTube. And this is why, in my opinion, vidIQ is the only one to go for. Now, there is a free version, but the main thing that's going to help you grow your channel is their keyword inspector tool. And unfortunately, the features of this aren't available on that free version. However, you can use it with their cheapest paid version, and that is only a few dollars per month. And not only that, they often have different deals or discounts on, so the link down below will take you directly to the best possible price. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's cleared up some of your questions. If there is anything else you want to know or anything I can help you with, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. Hit subscribe, hit like, and I will catch you on the next video.